In a total twist of events that absolutely no one saw coming, Santelicesi responded through his lawyers. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Sponsoring today's video is none other than Exness. Exness is one of the largest forex brokers in the world, so you guys can only imagine the vast array of clients that they have to serve. Now, keeping that in mind, Exness have created two account ranges one for total beginners and then one for professionals. Now, keeping the beginners in mind, Exness has created two account types for them standard which can be operated on mt4 and mt5 and then standard sent which can only be operated on mt5 further sweetening up the conditions for them excess is not charging any trading commission they are charging reasonable spread and the best thing here is the fact that you can leverage your account to the ratio of one to unlimited when you look at the professional accounts range you will see that excess have created three the first is a raw spread account with spreads from zero and a fixed low commission. The second account that Exynos have created under the professional range is the zero spread account. And this gives their clients the benefits of trading with spread as low as zero across 30 pairs for 95% of the trading day. And the third account that Exynos have created is the pro account. And the benefits of trading with a pro account is that spreads start from as low as 0.1 pip. And then there's also no trading commission. See, it doesn't really matter if you're a beginner or a professional. Xness got everyone covered. So please go find the link in my description and sign up today. The views and opinions expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. It does not represent the views and opinions of the sponsors of this channel. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and enjoy today's video. Okay, so after the story that the City Press has posted about Sandy Lechese, we would think that this is the last that we saw of him. There was a few comments in the previous video about Sandy Lechese that has removed his Instagram and that has removed his business Instagram accounts, but it seems that they are back because I found this on his stories and we need to discuss it. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but I saw this and this is basically the response that Sandy Lechese has put out, but this is quite a short response and I don't think, or I'm not sure if they have to basically cover everything that has been alleged by the city press, but it goes as follows. Mrs. Sandy Lechese's legal team has noted the false allegations that were published by the City Press on the 10th of October 2021. Our legal team is carefully studying the allegations and have begun with the legal proceedings against a few individuals involved in this matter. It is unfortunate that Mr. Shazi learned of criminal proceedings through the media as no court processes were served on him. We choose not to elaborate at this stage as we are currently dealing with the matter. However, a follow-up statement will be released in due course. Thank you. HL Legal Inc. Now, as you guys can read, and if you want to read for yourself, you can post to read it. But as you guys have just heard, these guys are not playing. They mean business. And I find this really funny because nowhere in here, obviously, it states there that we choose not to elaborate at this stage, but nowhere do they say that um, Elena Dwaba has had previous ties with Sandy Lechese. They do not deny it or acknowledge it they do not deny or acknowledge the 500,000 rand that Ellen Ledwaba is bringing into question and um, yeah like I said it is a short statement and the reason why I find this really funny is because yesterday Ellen Ledwaba texted me and um, this is what he said morning morning fix um, I trust you are my brother um, look man I, I, I'm moving in between different published houses and reporters um, but I just wanted to keep you in the loop this Sunday um, the story is gonna be out again on Sunday times but I've got some interesting news for you um, it's been set out by subs that Sandy has been or, um, issued handed over I mean issued a warrant of arrest on Monday so after the story came out with city press that Monday they issued out the warrant of arrest so we're not sure if he's arrested as yet or not and then secondly so clearly as you guys can hear dude is sticking to his allegations dude is standing by it and um this guy is actually standing on it that a warrant of arrest has been issued as you guys have heard in the voice note that he sent me 
Now, I find this super interesting, right? Because as I've posted previously, that you guys should post questions um, that I should ask Ellen Edouaba. And also in the video that I read the newspaper article of the City Press, you guys also commented there that there is previous ties of Ellen Edouaba to Santilli Shese. And this story is about to get really, really interesting because there's another story that is about to release on um sunday in the sunday times um as you guys have heard also ellen told me that but not also that he has also posted this to his instagram stories so um this guy is busy spreading the word and he's busy getting everyone away i'm probably gonna be first at the shop to go and get the sunday times because you know obviously i want to know what's going on and then i'll come and tell you guys but um it is really it is really intense because at this point all I can take it as Elena Dwaba is an insider. He has dealt with Sandy Lachese first hand and he knows a lot of things. But not only that, you guys as the audience have noted that his previous ties with um, Sandy Lachese as well. He has opened a lot of seminars for Sandy Lachese where he has mentioned that Sandy Lachese has been so good to him um, that he was able to buy um, a car, um, cash, that his life was able to turn around um, at these seminars and with that being said right the interview that i'm gonna have with him is also gonna be really interesting because i'm gonna ask all of these questions and like i said i do want answers because it seems at this point when i look at the response from the public it seems like ellen Duaba has been more involved with Sandy Lachese than just being an investor. And I'd really like to get to the bottom of this. Obviously, Sandy Lachese has a big reputation and he's going to be fighting for it. And then it seems like Elena Dwaba is not letting up. It seems like he's not letting go of this. So I'm really keen to see where this turns up. Now, as some of you guys have noted that you guys have clips of him speaking at seminars of Sandy Lachese. And I'm really also keen to hear if he's going to be really honest about these questions because ultimately he can lie to me. But the moment I post this interview, a whole lot of you guys that has seen him at these seminars, that has seen him work with Sandy Lachese will be able to call bullshit on whatever he is saying that might be false. So I got your back, you got my back and that is how we will get to the end of the story. My conclusion on this matter is this is about to get really interesting. I know some of you guys have sent me messages saying Sandy Lachese has deleted his Instagram and I have tried and searched for his Instagram. Yes, it was gone for a little while, but obviously guy is back, more guy is coming back to fight for his reputation is definitely not leaving things like this and that was a total shocker because the moment the Instagram accounts disappeared, everyone thought, including me, that Santilli was guilty but obviously with the statement that he has released with his lawyer, it's very clear that he is going to be fighting for his um, reputation. On Eleanor Dwaba, at this point he is a questionable character to me as I also do not take the commenting or the points that my viewers and my audience put up in my comment section. I don't take that lightly and when a comment or a certain theme around a comment has been repeated so many times I cannot ignore it and the theme that has been repeated here is that Ellen has previous ties with Sandy Lachese. So on him I'm really gonna see if he's gonna be honest in the interview that I'm gonna have with him and like I said he can pull wool in front of my eyes but at the end of the day there is guys that is subscribed to this channel that has been to some of these seminars where he has spoken and some of you guys will be able to call nonsense on the stuff that he is lying about so I'm really keen to see if he is gonna be able to talk the truth above all I really just want to see how this is going to work out. I want to see how Sandy Lachese is going to come out at the end of this. And I also want to see how Ellen Duaba is going to come out at the end of this. Because obviously, as you guys can see, neither party is letting up on the argument. Ellen Duaba made allegations. It went as big as City Press. And on Sunday, it will obviously go as far as Sunday Times. And then Sandy Lachese has responded 
with his lawyers so i'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out as i am very sure you guys are interested to see how this will turn out as well obviously at the end of it all we will be able to say who the disingenuous party here is between sandy lechese and ellen Ladoaba. but at this point at this point right um the same way like i was when i read that newspaper article i am gonna be neutral here um so yeah i'm keen to see and i'm keen to hear from you guys what you guys think about this whole situation what you guys think of sandy Lechese responding through his lawyers what you guys think of the voice note that ellen Adwaba sent me and i cut that voice note off because there's some really confidential and really personal information that he shared so i i can't share that to to the public please do understand that um but I am very keen to hear what you guys have to say about these two because it seems like the gloves are coming off now. Um, if you came this far, please do smash the like button. It really helps out the channel and it really helps the YouTube algorithm spread the video to further viewers. And then also please do share it around so that people can become aware of what is currently happening in the industry. If you're new here, please do smash that subscribe button. This is where we uncover all the forex mysteries all of the forex scams all of the things that is going wrong in the forex industry seeing that everyone is just painting a beautiful picture and no one wants to talk about the pitfalls of being a forex trader and mingling with guys not mingling but um getting into bed with some of these guys that we may think is heroes on instagram i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video cheers